Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, FTP server or file transfer protocol server that's located uh, or comes included in the Horner XL4 all-in-one controller. And the first thing we'll need to do is just to go up to our uh, controller here and this is the Seascape software that we're looking at and there's a couple of ways to get into hardware configuration. We can go under the main menu hardware configuration or we can go to the pro project navigator and hit hardware configuration. Once we call up this window what we want to do is go down to our, our land or Ethernet port right here and we'll hit configure and then it pops up another window here, window here and this is the protocol uh, that's supported on the unit currently. So if we highlight the FTP server, we can hit configure protocol and you can see I've already done that here. We have um, two users. One uh, username is read only and the password is read only. And then we have a username full access and the password is full access. And they're set to read only and read write appropriately. We'll cancel there. And we'll cancel that out. And that's basically all there is to do um, to set up the FTP server in the Horner. So once we have that, then what we have to do is we have to use a, um, a client. Now, FTP server is actually a standard network protocol used to transfer computer files between a client and server on a network. Now the command, um, command line programs were first used for FTP, which is like your DOS commands, and we'll show you how to do that. And they still, sh and it, that still ships with most operating systems. And many uh, FTP clients and automated utilities have been uh, developed for desktop servers and mobile devices. So we're going to go through four different ways in which to communicate to this FTP server. And I'm going to be using um, the same program that we, we did for our tank and in our tank we actually had um, our media and our media we had two files that, that were present we had a mixer.csv and we had a mixer report.csv those two files um, are we'll, what we'll do is read those files out of our media card so that's basically what the file uh, FTP server will do is it will allow us access to do this and you notice in the program prior um, post what we did was we actually took the media cart out of the controller and put it into our computer to read those files we just escape out of there go back to the main and we can actually start that so here we are back here and what we'll do is call up, the first thing we'll do is use a command line, which is our DOS um, program. So if you go to the start and hit uh, CMD for command, it will pop up a window. Similar to the one I have on my screen here. And then what we do is at the, the command prop, what, we, what we'll do is type FTP. You'll notice that changes our cursor now to FTP. And then what we want to do is we will open um, that location in our um, controller. And we do that by typing open. And then we type the address, which is our Modbus or our Ethernet address of that controller, which is 192.168.1.131. We hit enter and now we'll ask us for our username or we'll type in um, read only and now we'll ask for our password and our password is read only okay. then it actually tells us once we do that we're logged in now once we're logged in we can now type binary and what this does is sets the uh, transfer to binary for the files that we want to get 
And that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to get and we'll say get um, m report dot csv and what that's going to do is go go to that uh, go to the controller grab it from the memory card and bring it back in okay. so that's exactly what it did it set it up and then it sent it um, in the in the folder so now i have on my uh, current directory here under users in my name um, my file that I just re re asked for okay. and then to actually close our section session out we just hit buy and then we log off and we're back to our start again so very straightforward to do these commands uh, using the command line prompt we could also do some automated ones and so in order to do an automated one, what we do is they call them a batch file. So if I look up my, through notepad here, here's my batch file. It's going to say echo off and it'll, there's, there's a bunch of commands here. It's basically scripting language. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a file called FTP command date or DAAT and it'll put all those instructions in there. So what we do is we call it up. Uh, there's our our user, our password, um, our binary, so that we have binary format. Then uh, what we do is we ask for a file name. So if we call this bat file with a file extension on it, then what we can do is we can uh, grab that file automatically. Or if it's not there, then we go to this default. And the default, it will get the M report for us and bring it back in and then what happens is um, when we get to um, get that report then we just end once we have the file built then what we want to do is we want to then um, use the FTP, FTP commands to actually get that file then afterwards what we do is delete the file the temporary file that we've made so we grab those information we read it in and we stick it right in the same location so going back to our um, unit here, we can actually see that um, bat file. So I'll go dir, and it's called ftt ftp bat, and that's that's it right there. So we have the one bat file. So if we run it, you notice I don't have to put dot bat. It actually does everything for me and gets that M report. Now the other report that we have is actually mixer.csv. So if we want to do that, we can do FTP bat mixer.csv enter. And now it actually goes out and grabs that mixer report and brings it back in. So um, of course, this is an older scripting language, but it's very effective and you can see very quick. Now, there's another couple of ways I want to talk about. And the first one is Internet Explorer, which actually comes with Windows. So if we actually see when Windows Internet Explorer, let's call this up here. Um, it looks kind of like this. OK, so you see all your hard drives, um, what's on your computer. And in this case here, what we will do is type in FTP and then our location, 119.168.1.131. And then the first thing it does is says, okay, who are you? And it asks for security. So we'll do read only and type in read only for a password. We'll log in. And now what we do is this just like Windows, we can actually see the values that are on or the information that's on that memory card in our controller. So here are two files here. And just like Windows, I can copy, paste, and do a lot of different things. So if I wanted to write files, I'd have to have full access. So I just use a different uh, password. Finally, the last way of doing this is actually we have, uh, we download different programs. And one program that's really uh, quite nice is called FTP Surfer. And here's FTP Surfer. 
and what I do is I set up profiles in in it so it just looks like a Internet Explorer like the other one and if I look at um, my properties of that you can see here's my name I can do specific names my address and then I can say what I want it want to do for my um, information here so once I have that I click on it and automatically it comes up just like uh, our Internet Explorer and there are my files which now I can upload download move copy I can do anything I like to them so all the links that you that I've talked about in this video are available on our website at accautomation.ca and if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out number one you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information um, just like you have the second way is subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video you can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website once you do that notification will be given you given to you every time we publish new content to the site you'll also get two free books um, on numbering systems and robust data logging and the third way to help us out is just to tell a friend or colleague about the site that's it for now thanks for watching